Noah's Ark is the vessel featured in the Bible's Book of Genesis flood narrative through which God spares Noah, his family, and a remnant of all the world's animals from a world engulfing flood. As of yet, there is no scientific evidence the ship existed, but many have dedicated their lives to trying to find it. According to the fourth verse of the eighth chapter of the Book of Genesis, following a flood, Noah's Ark landed on the mountains of Ararat. Amazon Prime's Mysteries documentary revealed how one man scaled the huge rock formation in Turkey and made a huge discovery. The 2009 series revealed, in 1955 French industrialist Fernand Navarra and his son scaled the northwest slope of M.T. Ararat searching for the Ark. They made their way into a deep fault in the glacier and discovered a five-foot piece of ancient wood. It was not a part of a tree, but obviously something that had been cut. Navarra's book Noah's Ark, I Touched It created an international sensation. But the discovery was made more than 1,000 feet below the Ararat anomaly. And when the wood was carbon dated it was determined to be from the 4th or 5th century far too recent. However, some disagree with the official estimations. Dr. David Vanderhoeft revealed in the same series, they found pieces of the ship on Mount Ararat, which proves the story took place. If the story took place, it accurately reflects God's word. The pair were not the only ones interested in the anomaly, though. Yesterday it was revealed the CIA investigated the subject during classified missions, snapping six photos. The documents titled Noah's Ark and M.T. Ararat shows the spy agency seriously considered the possibility the Bible tale was real. The files were declassified following a Freedom of Information Act request by Professor Porsche Taylor in 2006. He told Space.com at the time, I've got newfound optimism as far as my continuing push to have the intelligence community declassify some of the more definitive type imagery. I'm calling it my satellite archaeology project. I maintain that if it is the remains of something man-made and potentially nautical, then it's potentially something of biblical proportions.